Hey guys, this is VTRF7. This is actually a screencast, kind of a, um, a response to what, a lot of questions that I had on my how to install Magenta on a Snow Leopard. Um, because I was using MAMP Pro, a lot of people asked me how can I do this but using the free version of MAMP. Uh, I'm going to try and tackle that kind of situation. And what we're going to do is basically going to create a MAMP free version with MAMP free version, a Magento installation. Now, basically, just go to the MAMP website, download it, which I've done, and install the MAMP, not the MAMP Pro, but the MAMP version, whatever version of MAMP you have. The latest one says it's 10.6 compatible, which is Snow Leopard. Uh, I'm still using the 10.8.3, still the same thing, no problems whatsoever. Uh, now, basically, go also to Magento, download the latest version, which I've already done, and what we're going to do is, um, once it's downloaded, we'll unzip it. Um, once it's unzipped, uh, we should then create a database. Just waiting for this to actually download. Um, we're going to go to PHP My Admin, and I've created already a database called Magento underscore Test. You can call whatever you want on your one. So my one is actually Magento underscore Test, as you may see there. And I'm actually going now. I have the Magento here. They're called Magento Test. That's my unzipped folder. I'm going to put it in htdocs. I already have one. There, I'm just going to basically replace it. And there we go. Should be done. My goodness, it's taking a lot of time. There we go. Now, what we would normally do is then go to, of course, our local host um, folder. Uh, for you, it might be this. It might give you um, the MAMP logo. Basically what it is, it's just got the PHP file in the index.php. If you delete it, basically then it'll give you the index of everything that it's inside. I'm going to go to Magento Test and basically uh, just continue the installation. Agree with the terms and conditions. Go forward. I'm in the UK, so I'm going to choose UK time, UK pound sterling. You do whatever you want for your local. Um, for me, it's going to be United Kingdom, but because this cannot create any cookies, it's going to take me to the, to the United States again. This is a problem we all find when we're using the uh, free version of MAMP. The reason for that is because Magento needs to find cookies, a way of doing cookies. For this, you need to create a way that the computer understands this is a, it can create cookies. So for that, it can it can only do that if it finds kind of a um, URL which looks like a proper website URL. What we're going to do then is go to Finder, Go, Go to Folder, Private, forward slash private, forward slash etc. Go to your hosts file, open it in your favorite text editor, and then right there at the top you're going to find 127.0.0.1. That's your IP for your local host. And you're going to put localhost, i just say yes you can unlock it, localhost dot, in my case is going to be dev, uh, I normally like to put this, this is kind of a programmer thing, uh, localhost dot dev for development, save it, uh, it's probably going to ask you for your password, um, there we go, done, and we're going to go now to localhost dot dev because we're using the for the free version of MAMP we're gonna have to put the column A eight A eight which is the port number for PHP PHP. There we go. Same thing again. Put into a test. That should be fine. Trying to make this uh, screencast as short as possible. Uh, so you guys don't have to be watching this for a long long time. Continue <coughs> if the computer actually moves faster. There we go. Uh, United Kingdom. See, it doesn't refresh now. Why? Because it basically now finds cookies because it's got the dot dev. If you put dot net, same thing. But I like to put dot dev because in case you by mistake you actually put a real, um, you know, URL, then you're in a big trouble. Um, British pound sterling. Continue. Host is local host. Database name is actually Magento underscore test. Username for the for the database is root. Password is root. Again, just leave it as that. Uh, admin path 
is admin. We click on OK. Next, I'm just going to say no, don't save that password. It is going to take a little while because it's basically now creating every single table that Magenta uh, needs to operate in your database. So it's basically creating all those tables, communicating with your uh, MAMP PHP. <clears throat> so it can take a little while, hopefully not that long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and then we'll come back. Alright there guys, finally this has already brought us to the next phase. Now we're going to create an admin account. First name, I'm just going to put example, last name, Magento, and the email is going to be example at localhost.com. I'm going to use username admin password Magento test Magento test again and the encryption key don't uh, mind about that should ooh wait a minute uh, yeah the password you don't match I thought so we're just gonna put Magento and Magento and this is really heavy and it doesn't match so just continue Please enter seven or more characters. Okay, so we're going to do map gen two zero one map gen two zero one. Please some that's one. And save it. Yay, there we go. Uh, please save this. Please save this. Sorry guys, I had to do something over here. Uh, basically, when I said save this, this is an encryption key. Uh, it says that why you should save it. Uh, it's basically um, because this is an encryption password for when you accept payments, credit cards, etc, etc, etc. So you need this to be saved. Uh, so I just saved it there. And now uh, I'm going to click on command and then on these two links, I'll go back that for the back end. It should now it should see this is your front end home page. Hello. We have a functioning front end of a magento and we put as an admin and then magento01 the password. Oops. Admin magento01. Taking a little time to to load the login. There we go. Save. Okay, and there we go. We've got a fully functioning Magento installation on Snow Leopard using MAMP free version. Thank you guys. Um, please comment, and I hope this uh, was helpful for all of you, as it was for me. I'm sorry for taking so long to create this video and to explain to you guys how to install it. On the gentle free version but I was at the university a lot of stuff to do and unfortunately I couldn't answer uh, very quickly but I hope that this is very very helpful for you and once again please comment and rate it thank you very much enjoy it